Yo, listen. Off rip. I got to talk about power to the patients. We fighting for the American citizens out there making sure you get the right prices every time you step into a hospital. We fighting real hard in Washington, D.C. for that, for the American people. Over 100 million American people are in hospital debt. With that being said, everybody's talking about beef. Rap beef, this beef, that beef. Well, I got beef too. I got beef too. Now, let me tell you something. I've never been into the police. I've never been into telling on nobody or hoping somebody gets locked up. But, I don't know if you guys saw a world star a world Latin star on Instagram, but there's a, a rapist in my community, my community, 153rd and 3rd Avenue. There's a rapist in the community. Now this guy comes behind a woman that could be anybody's mother or grandmother, takes a belt, throws it over her head, snaps it back, she's unconscious, and he rapes it in the middle of the street. Now, what's so scary about this is that this guy looks like he been doing this. He's a serial rapist. The way he did this thing, he invented some shit. So now, if your daughter, your wife, anybody, any woman might be getting raped or whatever, we tell them to punch, scream, make noise so people could come out. This guy went, he found a way to throw the, without you knowing, Throwing the belt over your thing and hanging. I, I advise everybody to go to World Star, World Latin Star. Check this out. This guy must go to jail or he must die. There's nothing else to be said. There's nothing else to go on. The community must rise. This guy needs to go to jail right now or he needs to die. He ain't do it one time. You got to understand when it comes to rape and shit like that, a lot of women don't want to come forth with that. This just happened to happen on video. Very disturbing. There's a real dangerous man on the loose around the 153rd and 3rd Avenue area in the Bronx, he dies or go to jail. There's no way around it. Protect your neighborhood. Go out there. Go on World Star. A World Latin Star. Something got to give. ASAP too. Oh, this guy's going to rape your mother or your sister again. Something got to give. Telling you now, 153rd, 3rd Avenue in the Bronx, there's a serial rapist coming up behind women. No woman should be walking alone. I told the girls that work for me in my store in the Bronx, no walking alone. Elliot, you with the girls? Very dangerous man in the 153rd and 3rd Avenue area in the Bronx. One or the other. Anybody who knows this guy should know they rather him go to jail than to get killed. Because this guy's dying. Ain't no way around it. Ted Smooth, what's up? Jeff Aronson, what's up? Yeah, Jeff, we living in a fucked up time, but 
If you watch this video on World Star, World Latin Star, it's so disturbing because you see how he could do this to anybody. But this is my hood, my community, and y'all know what this is. Something got to give. This guy goes to jail, or he's done out there. Simple as that. It's been a minute, guys. Oh, because every time I talk, it's controversial, it's viral, it's some shit. So I try to lay off for a second because, you know, I, I just keep getting everybody upset or whatever. And so I keep hearing Kyla tell me, uh, stay in the light, talking about beef. You know, I'm with little booth seat about hip hop beef. It's all fun and games till somebody gets shot and then it's rest in peace t-shirts. I'm 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 with Boosie on that. The hip hop beefs is out of control. Um, and so before people get hurt, let's go back to having a good time. And so, uh, my Knicks, my Knicks fans, let me see the fire signs out there. My Knicks fans, let me see the fire signs out there. Well, my Knicks fans ain't here. Uh, the Knicks, you got to understand. I've seen Charles Barkley. I love him. He said, we under, we overrated. We just, no, Charles, we ain't winning 29 years. And so Nick fans are very close to the Dallas Cowboy fans, meaning we don't know how to act. We talk shit. We act up. We riot. New Jersey rock solid. What's up, my brother? I miss you, man. I'm up top. And let me tell you something. We don't know how to act because it's been 20... Imagine you've been a loyal fan. Imagine we've been losing for 20-something years, yet and still our, our arena is sold out every night for 29 years. And so we feel unreal when we see our team doing great like this. Jeff T, NBA superstar. Yo, Jeff T, yeah, Nick fans don't know how to act. But it's because we haven't won in 29 years. And so we got no choice but to act crazy. Me, every time I sit courtside, I look up a deck, because that's where I used to go with Uncle Dan and watch Michael Jordan this small from the upper deck, from the nosebleed. So now that I sit courtside, not just courtside, but right next to the coach. Huh. It's unreal. And so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you that God is great. He has blessed me and made my dream come true. I can't front from you like, like these other celebrities and act like, you know, I don't know what's going on and act like, you know, the other day I went to my pharmacist. I got a pharmacist and the man cursed me out. He said, man, get the fuck out of here. You court side, who the fuck you think you are? This is the pharmacist. Nice guy. But I mean, like, I know where I'm sitting. And so I'm blessed and I'm praying the whole game. Too old. Feels good to be too old. Mitchell Robinson is hurt. Randall's out. Now OG is out. And Jalen Brunson is banged up. And so, I like Indiana. Great team. Uh, yeah, we're never going to get over what Reggie Miller did, for, did to us. We will never. And so, what was crazy is, shout out Alex Todd and my sister Mary J. Bly. She was sitting next to me. We're never going to get over what Reggie did to us. And so, when you hear the whole crowd, fuck you, Reggie. Fuck you, Reggie. I'm not going to lie. One of those 20,000 
voices was mine. And I squashed my beef with Reggie. You got to understand, I didn't speak to Reggie Miller for about 10 to 15 years. I would see him at Jordan parties, All-Star Weekend, all over. I wouldn't talk to him. So one day he came up to me, shout out Pete Rock, living legend. He came up to me and said, yo, Joe, we was in Newark Airport. He said, yo, man, it's time to squash the beef, man. Hold a game, hold a game on the check-in. He said, let's squash the beef. We squash the beef. We cool. But I ain't going to lie. I can get petty too. So when the 20,000 was saying, fuck you, Reggie. I was in there too. Fuck you, Reggie. Fuck you. <laughs> man, there's nothing like it, man. It took us 29 years to get here. Now, tonight, it's going to be incredible. I do believe Jalen Brunson is going to come back. But, you know, OG was on his way to becoming a superstar. He scored 32 points and got hurt with two quarters left. Brunson was hurt. He stepped up and was doing all the scoring. Fucked up. He's out. I don't know how long. I'm hoping this is a day-to-day -day thing. I didn't hear the verdict. Billy Blanco. Um, yo, Billy, you're one of my best friends since a kid. And I love you for Billy. You're hilarious. Billy posted a pic on the private plane with me and him. He took Rich Player's face. Photoshopped his face and said, on our way to Indiana. Yo, you're fucking nuts, Billy. Yo, Billy, you fucking nuts. <laughs> you're fucking nuts. And so, speaking in, in terms of basketball, right? Ladies. Ladies. This next one's not going good for the ladies. Why, Joe? Because this can have a trickle-down effect with all the young NBA players. We can learn from this. So Shaquille O'Neal's former wife, mother of like five, six kids, he put her on, gave her the TV show, got her businesses, says... She never loved him. This is tough. If I'm Shaquille O'Neal, this is a dagger. This hurts. Even though we've seen him with a 21-year-old just recently up diving off the coast of Malfi, you know, off a yacht with a bad chick. It hurts. The mother of your child. The woman took half your money. You gave her a business. She started a whole TV show, Basketball Wives, but never loved them. Uh, ladies, this is horrible. And this is a trickle-down effect. Being in the young basketball players, they taking notes. They see what's going on. Damn, should I really wife this girl? She might just take half and tell me she never loved me. And so it's really, really crazy the statement, I was very, very disappointed. And so I'm telling women, come on now. Y'all keep fucking around. I'm going to have to sit Keith Sweat on y'all. You seen Keith Sweat with them dance moves, man. Keith Sweat. Keith, Keith Sweat with them dance moves. I don't know. A new husband's a pastor. He looks a little weird to me. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. So... When people look weird to me, something always comes out in the rinse. Rock the Bells was good. Tomorrow night, Mary J. Blige Mother's Day concert. It's going down at the Barclays. We rehearsed yesterday. And let me tell you something. Mary's the queen. Mary's also my sister. But I can never get over the fact that I love her music so much. I'm at rehearsal. Shout out to Vado. Um, and I'm just listening to the band. is insane. And I'm listening to the, the rehearsal. And I'm just, I can't get, I can sit there every day and watch Mary J rehearsal with the band playing. It's so hip hop. And uh, I'll be there tomorrow for Mother's Day. 
blow the roof off the motherfucking um, Barclays. You know what I'm saying? I might take a liquid IV just to get the hydration going. You know what I'm saying? I have my massage today. Shout out Simone. Just, just, just nurturing the body because I'm coming out there like this. You know what I'm doing like this. When Joe Crack come out, you don't remember that Yankee Stadium. Everybody thought they was going to kill a 50th anniversary. Then Joe Crack came out there topless and went in like this. Rest in peace, homicide, you right. Basketball player, I know him for the Rucker, classy guy. Special, they used to call him Homo Buckets. Classy guy, he lost his battle with cancer. But what I tell you, one of the good guys passed away. God bless Homicide and his whole family. Shout out to my cousin Gravity on here, one of the best break dancers in the world. But I'm coming like this tomorrow. Um, Keith Sweat got the moves like Jagger. There's a new thing, right? I mean, the whole world fucked up. If you agree that the world's fucked up, meaning the planet ain't spinning right, the energy ain't right, let me see some fire signs. Because I don't know if y'all ready for this conversation. Let me see fire signs if you feel like shit is weird. B dot, you always on some bullshit. Everything's weird. E Philly, yo, Philly, yo, this shit crazy out here though. Like, I mean, like, it's no cold, it's no nothing out here. It's everything's crazy, dudes raping ladies in the middle of the streets, in the middle of the thing. Listen, police, you better catch this guy on 153rd and 3rd and over there, because I'm telling you, he either dies. Or he goes to jail. I'm telling you. This guy. I know what the community does to guys like this. I know what they do. When they catch him. Catch this guy. I'm telling you. And he's did this 20 times. 30 times. This guy. Now. It's telling your truth. Just telling, period. It is, is it all love and you could turn a blind eye and you love your guy while he's paying you checks? The minute the money stops, you all of a sudden get a conscience and a heart and start telling your truth? Because, yo, what's going on out here, man? Guys are telling on TV. Like, it's just out of control. Then I see comments of people like, yo, tell your truth. Speak up. You know, this is business, never personal. What does that mean, though? Does that mean if you work for somebody rich, influential, famous, an artist, If you, and all of a sudden it's all love because they're paying your bills, paying everything. The minute you get fired or you get let go, you start leaking secret information. And it that's telling to me, guys. That's telling to me. And you can't take a gangster and all of a sudden you're a gangster for your whole life. But now you're a civilian. So you're telling your truth. Yo, bro. It's fucking mind blowing. And the thing is, like Uncle Dan always says, what comes out in the wash, what doesn't come out in the wash, comes out in the rinse. And so it means like, whoever you are, you are. And so, 
whoever you are, you are. So if you hold it for a little, you hold it, whatever. If you come out in the future and you tell, that's who you always been. If it's not in you, you will not do that for the rest of your life. And so I don't respect it. Nor do I respect a lot of shit that's going on. And you know, I'm one of the few people that I believe in. When I win, we all win. I put so many people in position to win, to make money, and put others on. You know, and always thinking about my people through all the time. And so, you know, we supposed to. You know, that's, that's how, you, you know, I move with respect like a dawn, you know, and I give credit where credit's due. Bum B, what's up, baby? Yeah, some shit you got to die with, Bum B. Trill Burger, Ellis Burger in the whole country, right? And so it's like, you, you know, like, where's the morals? In these days, I got to move like a dawn. At the same time, I got to take inventory. You see, one thing that happens to a lot of us that gets in big positions and hold down big crews or big whatever is that a lot of us guys don't take inventory and give people their props for helping you get to where you get. Now, if you did something for me, like make a song with me or write a song with me or or grind with me, or ran around the world, or, or put in dudes to promote, or did, like, then I got to salute you for putting in some work. If not, I can't give you that credit. And so what happens is, you got to take inventory and move like a dawn and tell people, I appreciate what you've done for me. You've been a real one. You've been respectful. You this and this and that. But, Haiti, shout out to everybody who donated to Haiti, um, Food for the Poor, incredible organization, uh, we got a lot of food, women's hygiene's going to Haiti, um, and so they, they, we can't even do enough, so I urge everybody to keep donating to Food, food for the Poor, Organization that been out there for years and years and years, over 400 people working in Haiti. Um, but shit is really fucked up in Haiti. So, but shout out to everybody. I donated a bunch of stuff. You know, Anthony Edwards on his way to be the finals MVP. Rasha Belasa, Salam Alaikum. Anthony Edwards on track. To be the NBA Finals MVP. The guy's fadeaway is unstoppable. No different than Michael Jordan. Shout out to Dap USA on the check-in. They show all the pics of the Dap and Dan fly shit back in the day. The Fendi, the Gucci, the Louis. Incredible. Shout out my brother Chubby Love who passed away. You know, I remember it, it was hard getting clothes for big boys. And one day I'm in Harlem, 132nd and Park Avenue, and this Ford Taurus rolls up. That was the car of the time. And a big boy go up. But when I say a big boy, he made me look small. And he got out, he had this Louis Vuitton brown suit. Boom, and I was like, yo, what the fuck is that? It was almost like an alien. Because at the time, I don't care what kind of money you was getting, you was only wearing a discus t-shirt and some Levi. And he said, it's Dapper Dan. And he took me right over to Dapper Dan, and then I started copping Dapper Dan ever since. Uh, Anthony Edwards is amazing. He's so amazing, his sneakers are starting to look good to me. I might be copping his sneakers soon. Uh, I've seen him in person. He's faster than everybody else. This guy is amazing. Uh, that fadeaway jump shot is the true king. Shout out to Rewind the 10. Winning, we're going to name some announcements of where we will be available at soon. Right now, we have Sally's Beauty, number one product, man or female in the whole entire Sally's Beauty. Over one billion social media 
impressions in four months. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Why fight the time when you can rewind the time? Tell you something. Shout out to my man, Jay Majors. I went to the Barber Expo. Uh, incredible. Met thousands and thousands of barbers. Um, and I did the rewind it after party. I did the booth. Just vibing with the barbers. I feel like the barbers is as, is as important as the DJs. I've always felt like that. Um, you know, they elect presidents. Matter of fact, register the voters coming soon. Biden, Trump, that's what it is. Biden, Trump. Biden just recently uh, took cannabis to a level three. So people like you and me could get some money on a federal level. You know I'm with Kamala. But it's okay. It's on you. You do what you want to do. Mary J. Blige tomorrow. A lot of surprises. 50 Cent. Fat Joe. Who thought we'd be on the same card? Mary J. Jill Scott. Surprises. It's a lot of surprises. Register to vote. Can't vote if you don't register. Simple as that. Can't wait for the Bust Around Missy Sierra tour. I'm pulling up on that. Uh-oh. They caught the caller, nigga. Oh, they caught the guy. They're trying to pound him out, but police is like... No, they got to pound him out. They're trying. Police won't let... Them. They're trying. Police won't let them pound him out. Nah, Legend? Nah, the police... Where they call him at? I'm calling? Around there, yeah. They caught him. They caught the rapist. They are trying to pound They caught the rape and now they gotta fuck him up though. They trying. They gotta let him fuck him up though, man. Police, it's so many police and people out nah, there. Nah, they gotta hurt this I guy, agree. man. I agree. They found him. Pass me that sort of out right there. They found the rapist, guys. Police found the rapist. Ain't that some shit I just I you know I threw that APB out there. I say either he goes, either he goes to jail. Oh, he goes. He put the APB out on his page. And they caught him. <laughs> Even the guy goes, or he goes. They caught him, Ninth. Ninth Wonder, super producer on the chicken. So these are Puerto Rican rum. Available everywhere real soon. Uh, it's amazing. Also, from every bottle we sell, there'll be a dollar going back to small business owners, entrepreneurs in Puerto Rico. Thank God this guy is caught. I tell you, he raped maybe 30, 40 people. 30, 40 people. But you see, I'm not going to say I caught him, but I let them know. Either you catch him or we catch him. And thank God nobody got to go more jail than they have to. The man is caught. He raped tons of women. Can't fuck with him. The rape, I can't fuck with it. Women in my community getting raped, I can't fuck with it. And so they caught him live on the live. You catch him or we catch him. Fucking play with us, man. Women working. She working. She coming home, maybe babysitting somebody else's kid. Somebody else went to dinner and they needed their kid, you know, watched. She's probably a nanny. She turned around and, and, and fucking came home late. And the guy takes a fucking belt, strangles her. Boom, she's lightless and rapes her on tape. This is not it. Pure energy on the check and my brother Scarface Steve, Steve is on the check and you know he's a big New York fan. Uh, success. Big New York. Big Nick fan. So the guy is caught. The guy's caught. I ain't gonna lie, this is the first time I feel good about a guy getting caught. In my life. This guy... He's the devil himself in the flesh. The devil. 
This guy's the devil in the flesh. Fuck. Yeah, we need the Knicks to win tonight. Brunson come out tonight. We always got a chance with fighters. Brunson uh, might be next year's MVP. E. Philly was good. I'm definitely happy about the Knicks. Check this out. Let your darkest moments bring your most clarity. What does that mean, Joe? If you're going through something. If you're going through something. Financial. Relationship. Health. And you turn around. And none of your friends are there. None of your family's there. God has given you a message. Because even when doctors say no. God says yes. I have friends that are doctors that tell me about patients that they know are supposed to die and out of nowhere, a miracle came. We serve a supernatural God. The God of wind, the God of sun, the God of happiness. When doctors say no, God say yes. So you got to have your faith. You got to believe. Believe in God in good and bad times. I know they caught the door. I know they caught him. He should have got it a little bit more. This guy, he got to get it. He got to get it. They just caught him, the rapist. All glory to God. Mother's Day. Salute all the mothers who raised us, who was there for us when the fathers weren't. Middle of the night, your kids got sick. You fed them. Some single parent moms had to do some uncompromising things just to make sure that their kids had food on the table, clothes. There's nothing like a mother. Um, and I'm so blessed. With God that I still got my mother. And so uh, not to take away from all the dads. They do what they're supposed to do. And another part of the dad's duty. Is making sure the mothers are <laughs> celebrated on their day. They get presents. They get gifts. They get love. Uh, so that's what it's about. <coughs> Peace y'all. It's the biggest in the game.